Hey everybody, it's Chris. Welcome to the Blue Collar Beer Gentlemen. I started this channel because I like craft beer and I'm on something of a limited budget and I wanted to show my friends that it was in fact possible to drink good beer and not break the bank doing it. So, uh, most of the beers I review on this channel usually come in around the $2 price range and such is the case with today's selection. I paid $1.99 for the Great Western Brewing's Original 16 Double Aged Canadian Copper Ale. There's the can, this 12 ounce can. Uh, does not have a enjoy by date or a, uh, a canned on date. Uh, let's see here. Celebrating the spirit of our founders, original 16 Canadian copper ales brewed by the finest 100% two row prairie barley, including a blend of roasted black and caramel malts and five choice hop varietals. Our special and unique double aged process results in an unparalleled smooth and refreshing beer. Uh, quick notes from the reviewing community. One of my friends, only one of my friends, on Untapped has reviewed this, given it a 3.0. Uh, 4,377 of us on Untapped have given it a 3.36 cumulatively. And Beer Advocate has only 26 rankings, giving it a 78 cumulatively, which on their scale is okay. Um, so here's the deal with this particular beer. Uh, it has a 5.3 ABV and 15 IBUs. Typically an American amber comes in between 4.5 and 6.2 ABV and 25 to 40 IBUs. So this is within range for an, uh, an American amber on the ABV but a little low on the uh, on the IBUs. That is, this is, that's that's the greatest, um, well it's the closest comparison I could find frankly to anybody. Uh, Untapped does refer to this as a red ale slash American amber. There is, uh, there's nothing really more to, uh, the, the thing is that there's so little information about Canadian beers and Canadian varietals, what sets it apart from a Canadian, what, you know, makes a Canadian amber as opposed to a, an American amber. If, if that information is out there, I sure don't have it. Now, if you if you know where to get it, if you're a Canadian and you want to tell me, hey, man, you want to learn about Canadian beer, go to this site, that would be great. Because I have to admit, I have a woefully low knowledge of, uh, of Canadian beers. But this is Canadian copper, so um, I guess the only thing we can really do is crack this bad boy open and get to drinking it. I'm going to be using my British pint glass. Figure we both used to be uh, British colonies, so a British pint glass for a, a Canadian beer seems appropriate. And this is pouring, let's see, what you're seeing on the screen, what you're seeing on the camera, well, just a little bit darker than the, uh, than the beer itself, but not a whole lot. I'm going to describe that as probably medium-low carbonation. Um, there is carbonation, very, very small bubbles. As you can see, that head doesn't seem to be going much of anywhere. Rather resilient, nice and foamy. Now we're finally starting to see some of the uh, nucleation, some of the, the bubbles popping. Uh, I'm going to give this a quick beard wipe, see what I come across. <sighs> Actually smells kind of boozy, at least uh, at least that, that beard wipe did. Now I'm going to stick my schnoz here in a second and uh, see what more I can get. This is actually a little hazy. Um, I'm in fact able to see my hand behind the glass. <coughs> But uh, it is it is kind of dark, and looks like I got some pretty good lacing already. If I can if you can see that without the glare of the camera, so yeah, it seems to be lacing all right. I'm gonna stick my schnoz in here to see what I come up with. Oh, I smell a lot of uh, malt. That's what I really smell more than anything is malt. Can't say I smell much in the way of uh, of the hop profile. I, I, it's a very weedy, very malty. Very malty aroma. Um, well, I don't see any reason to keep you on my flap. Let's get to drinking. Cheers. Okay. I'm going to describe that as probably a medium mouthfeel. It's, uh, there's really no alcohol burn to it. It's simultaneously sweet and dry. It starts off dry and ends with a, a sweet finish. I'm tasting, um, I'm tasting like red malt, so I did, I'm thinking they must be using some of the same caramel malts that uh, that are typically an American amber uses, because um, this very much reminds me of an American amber. But considering I don't know the ins and outs of Canadian ambers, I don't know 
how to match it up against the variety. I will say it's a pretty good beer. Um, I think maybe everybody was being a little bit hard with their uh, cr critiques. I mean, I'll, I'll give this a... I'm going to give this a 3.5. Actually, I'd give, I'd give the beer a 3.5, and because it's in a can, it gets an extra 0.25. So this is actually a 3.75 beer uh, on uh, untapped for me. Yeah, not a lot of spikiness. There's not much of them. There's really not much of a mouthfeel. Um, just a little hint of creaminess on the back end. But as I said, it does start dry. The first, when it first hits your tongue, makes you want for water. But then as it slides across the tongue and goes um, down the gullet, you're definitely getting uh, a sweetness to it. So, um, well, this, is, this isn't so bad. Like I said, I think the beer itself deserves a 3.5. Um, as you can see there, we've got some, that's not extraordinary lacing, but we've got some nice lacing. There's some lacing going on. <clears throat> Pardon. Well, there you have it. Excuse me. Once again, let me check on the ABV 5.3. 5.3. So it's about the uh, the range of an American lager. As I said, there's not really there's no alcohol burn. But this is a pretty good beer. I, I think everybody's being I think everybody's being a little too hard on this beer, especially for what was it? I say above 99. Is that right? Yes, a dollar 99 for Canadian Copper Ale Original 16. And I tell you what, I. Uh, I am willing to try uh, other beers from Great Western Brewing because this one this one ain't bad at all. Is it the best American Amber I've ever had? No, it's not an American Amber, but uh, it, it, it's it's a pretty good beer. And uh, I'd say for a buck ninety nine, if you're trying to drink something that uh, didn't come from some corporate entity, it'd be worth the time. And if you want to try, because I admit I haven't had the best luck with Canadian beers, so the fact that this one's pretty good says quite a bit. Well, guys, if you like this video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, drink good beer, and don't break the bank doing it. Cheers.